Informal rooftop housing is something everybody in Hong Kong knows about. But me, coming from outside of Hong Kong, that was just literally unbelievable. Hong Kong has this very prosperous image, and this really shows there's an underside to that image. Fina had done a project about uh, underground migrant housing in Beijing, and I had uh, published a book about people housing themselves in trailers in the cities of Germany. We became aware of each other's work and decided to team up. Portraits from Above is a project that documents rooftop communities in Hong Kong using three different types of media, the text, the actual stories of the residents, photography, and architectural drawings that analyzes the structures themselves. Just looking up, we found uh, informal structures everywhere, in every part of the city. But we quickly realized uh, mostly in the older parts of Kowloon, and mostly in areas that are targeted for redevelopment. Those were the stories which were interesting to us because they're people actually living on the rooftops and not just using it as an extension of their living space downstairs in the flat. The rooftop communities are often the first people to be evicted. From the buildings department's point of view, these are called unauthorized building works. They can cite many, many infractions of building bylaws that would enable them to require the residents to demolish the homes themselves. Many of the rooftop residents we met are new immigrants. They haven't been to Hong Kong long enough to be eligible for public housing. One of the problems of redevelopment is it's just about the building substance. You don't redevelop the neighborhood connections. The neighborhood connection is even more important for people who are underprivileged. You depend on your neighbors. It takes a long time to build up that type of relationship with people. So once you've dispersed people, I think it makes their lives even harder. To me, poverty is a feeling of hopelessness. There's nothing you could do to help yourself better your current situation. There are people that we met on the rooftops made me feel like they are in that position. Just like the uniqueness of each rooftop structure, everybody has a different story. The photographs give you the feel of a place and you can see what's inside the homes, what the people own, how they've decorated it. And the drawings help contextualize each of these dwellings. It's like a three-dimensional puzzle, how everything fits together. They depend on each other as a living organism. That was a very beautiful thing, how something that grows over time becomes interdependent on each other.